Senate Bill 1334, known as Corinne's Law, would make sure that no Oklahoman battling cancer would have to choose between their life-saving treatment and having a future family. Fertility is the one, really one of the only side effects of cancer um, that once it's gone, it's gone. Preserving her fertility wasn't the first thing Carly Kirkland thought of when she was diagnosed with osteosarcoma in 2020. You're thinking cancer, chemo, like all of these different things. Obviously, the main concern is the tumor in my leg. Until Corinne Dingas, an OU medicine grad working in residency to become an OBGYN with a similar form of bone cancer reached out. I hadn't even gone in for my first appointment at MD Anderson yet, and she texted me and said, hi, this is Corinne. Um, similar story. And then the next text was, have you considered preserving your fertility? Kirkland had just 10 days to make the costly decision. So thankfully I was able to do it. Um, insurance didn't cover it. I'm so thankful that I had the time and the ability to preserve them, but I know that's not the case for everyone. Less than a year later, Kirkland was fortunate enough to ring the bell to beat cancer. But Dingas didn't survive. Kirkland making it her mission to help Oklahomans know their options in Dinga's honor. Teaming up with one of Dinga's closest friends, calling their bill Corinne's Law. Such an important piece of legislation. There's a lot of people that get diagnosed with cancer, but there's not a lot of men and women who are in a place or who want to necessarily preserve their fertility, but the ones that are, that means everything to them. Corinne's law would require health benefit plans in Oklahoma to cover standard fertility preservation services for patients whose cancer treatment would cause infertility. The bill has passed both the House and the Senate, and if the bill is signed, the leaders hope that no Oklahoman ever has to make the choice between their life and having a family again. I I definitely believe that she she already thinks that it honors her legacy and I you know I think getting it done is just the cherry on top. In Oklahoma City, Audrey Goodson KOCO 5 News.